continue to unfold in the case of a New Jersey judge's family shot by a disgruntled attorney. Sources say the attorney, Roy Hollander, and the gun he used might be linked to more cases and that a New York State's, a New York State's chief judge may have been on his hit list. News 4 investigative reporter Sarah Wallace has the latest details from North Brunswick. Sarah? As neighbors in North Brunswick mourn a family's tragedy, investigators now focus on ballistics in three states. I hear, I would say, three or more. This neighbor heard the shots that killed 20 year old Daniel Andrel and critically wounded his father, Mark. Judge Esther Salas, in another part of the home, was uninjured. Federal authorities now believe she was the target of controversial attorney and anti feminist activist Roy Den Hollander, whose body was found yesterday in upstate New York. Investigators believe he shot himself with the same gun he used in the ambush attack on the Salas home while posing as a delivery man. The weapon, a 38 caliber, like this one. If they want equality, let's give them 51% of the worst of the society. Then they'll change their tune and they'll start whining, where's the kitchen? Hollander, known for outspoken sexist views and lawsuits, was skewered on a Colbert Report segment in 2011. A full motive for the target attack on Judge Salas and her family isn't clear, but Hollander wrote in an online memoir that he appeared before Salas in court, calling her, quote, a lazy and incompetent Latina judge appointed by Obama. Now he's a possible suspect in another murder with the same characteristics committed eight days earlier in Southern California. When they discovered Hollander's body, investigators Investigators found printed material about that victim, Judge Salas, and Janet DeFiore, chief judge of New York State. Oh, I have directed the state police to provide security for our chief judge. The big question, will the forensic evidence from this house match the ballistics from that crime scene in Southern California? That will be a key development in this investigation. From North Brunswick, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York.